James Busher, your pole sitter and early leader of this race is back to the sixth spot. Justin Mark seventh. Patrick Sheltra eighth. Ricky Carmichael is ninth and Steve Arpin rounding out our top ten. That 51 car really surprised me Phil. I thought he would drive to the outside and go right by these guys and get oh, all the problems. No. At the zero over and six. over it's the zero six of Barry Fitzgerald. And he comes to a stop. He's already taken the window net down. Yeah, that was coming out of turn number two, I believe. Yeah, it is. Uh, you see him moving around in there. That's a good sign. It looks like he's trying to get unbu un uh, unbuckled. Safety crews to him quickly. Boy. Why are these cars turning over today? Every time you look around, there's a car turning over. And this one was sideways until it got into the grass, and then around it went. Watch top of your screen. The green and black car, that's Barry Fisher. It gets a little bit loose, slides off the racetrack, and just turns around backwards the wrong way. These cars, are they're, the way they're set up, uh, when they go on the left side like that, it's just almost, it, it, they turn over. It's, a, it's, it's the way the cars are set up. A violent ride for Barry Fitzgerald in that 0-6. There's another view coming off turn two. You know, and he, he, he wasn't in the grass. He was already flipping before he got to the grass right there. So it wasn't a situation where, where the unevenness of the grass. <laughs> no, but when it hit the grass, it did a whole lot more bucking around. I can tell you, the grass is rough, man. Five times that car did a tumble. Again, if you're just joining us for NASCAR race day at the bottom of the hour, that will be coming up next. We have 21 laps to go in this one. The safety crew is attending to Barry Fitzgerald. We'll be back with more from Daytona after this.